It's been one year since the launch of the Chainlink mainnet, and the link price has been doing some celebrating. My name's Anthony, and in this Chainlink technical analysis video, we're going to explore a potential chart pattern that's forming on the link chart at the moment and give you a few possible scenarios to watch out for in June. At the end of the video, we're also going to review an updated list of 27 altcoins which have outperformed Bitcoin so far in 2020. Spoiler alert, Chainlink made the great. But before we get into all that, I want to thank all our subscribers for supporting the channel and remind you to give this video a quick like if you find value in the content. Also, if you're interested in staying informed about the Chainlink digital asset, make sure to subscribe to this channel in the bottom right corner of your screen before you go. Okay, let's get into it. Before I dive into the Chainlink technical analysis, I just want to make a quick point to say the cryptocurrency market is currently trending upwards and Bitcoin has just popped above 10k in the last 15 minutes. So you can see a lot of altcoins are up and this all just happened. If you look at this spike over here, you can see things just rose heavily. Chainlink at the moment is trading at $4.35. The last Chainlink video I put out was on 526, and at that point we were looking at this candle, we were towards the bottom of our uptrend, which as you know if you've been watching regularly, started back on April 10th. We are still in this uptrend, and obviously this week we had a beautiful week. We got up all the way up to this yellow line, which was a line of resistance I had mentioned in that video. And that line is, of course, if you watched $4.36, we are flirting with it and we are about to close our daily candle in 29 minutes. So we're going to have to watch and see if we close above or stay there. I'm going to show you if this rally continues where it could go to the upside. But I also want to show you a potential pattern that I've noticed. Before I talk about this pattern here, which is the one you saw in your thumbnail, I just want to talk about these two trading zones that I have here. And basically what these are is these are potential upside price targets to watch out for. Over here, you see this potential zone for trading here. And the bottom of this line is where we saw um, daily candles close a few times, one, two. We also saw support around the same area. And then on the top side of this is where we saw resistance. We saw support. We saw a little bit of resistance here. So there are multiple days around here back on February 15th. So this is a long time ago. But if you don't know, historical levels of support and resistance have a tendency to come back into play in the future. So if I shift to the right here, I've got my arrow, and now this is what we're currently looking at at the moment. So here is that same triangle at the same levels you just saw, but now we are looking at the current prices. So as you can see, this is above um, where we are now. We recently topped out at $4.48, but I'm gonna tell you if the upside potential or if the upside movement continues, and you can see it looks like we are actually pushing upwards. We may close above this on the day. We may close above $4.36 on the day, which would be a bullish sign if that happens. And if it does, the next major area of resistance would be $4.55. And the top side of that would be $4.63. So what I'm going to say to you is I believe if the upside momentum continues, I believe the run could go as high as or anywhere in between those two figures that I just mentioned, 455 or 463. But let me show you this pattern I've been looking at. So what I've got drawn in here is an ascending wedge. It's an ascending narrowing wedge. So what does that mean? This is actually potentially a bearish pattern, believe it or not. So there is potential downside breakout. And Link, of course, is overextended. If you just take a look real quick at the RSI, let's just take a look at the relative strength index. You can see we are getting close to being oversold, currently at 65. We could see this thing extend to 70 or even to 80 for a short time period before it comes down. And if that happens, we might see these higher levels come into play. So we'll have to wait and see what that happens. But a couple things I want to tell you about the rising... A uh, wedge here. So this is characteristics of a wedge. Um, if you're not aware of this, you have rising wedges, which have a tendency to break out to the downside. And then there are falling wedges, which have a tendency to break out to the upside. And the first thing you need to know about these wedges is that they often hint a reversal in the market. So these are not continuation patterns, they're reversals, which means they could change direction. The market could change direction on us. 
Just like other wedge patterns, they're formed by a period of consolidation where the bulls and bears jockey for position. While both patterns can span any number of days, months, or even years, the general rule is that the longer it takes to form, the more explosive the ensuing breakout is likely to be. As the name implies, a rising wedge slopes upward and is most often viewed as a topping pattern where the market eventually breaks to the downside. Now, I'm not trying to be overly bearish here, and I want to tell you what a downside breakout would mean, right? A downside breakout from this pattern would mean we'd break out from our uptrend, which is the green line here. Now, depending on where that happens, and it might not happen for a while if we get overextended here and stay hot, depending on where that happens, the size of the breakdown would be the overall height of it. So let's say hypothetically, we broke down on, let's say, June 16th. Let's say we continued rising here for a couple days, and then we lost some steam. What I'm telling you is we could fall as low as, let's say, $3.40, or certainly $3.50. That would be a worst-case scenario, and I'm not predicting that at all, but I am really just trying to make you aware of potential options. So, you know, when we look at downside targets what they are is potential sell points if you're looking to take quick profit or they are buying levels so you know as i always say and i always preach try and buy chain link or really anything you're ever looking to buy as an investor at the lowest price possible so do i in suggest investing at four dollars and 41 cents no i don't i don't suggest getting in at this price of course this is not professional financial advice. I'm not a professional financial advisor, but I would wait for this thing to pull back because it will be due to pull back at some point. Okay. So what happens is as you bounce around this pattern in a wedge, you bounce to the up, the top, I should say, and the bottom, the top of the pattern and the bottom. And whenever you hit the bottom on the way down, if you break out, these are potential levels of support. So I want to show you, I map that out on the chain link chart here, and I want to show you what that could potentially look like. And so I have two of them drawn in here. I have these two white lines. So if the price were to fall out of this and start to, to have a breakdown, I'm going to say $3.80 could be one potential level that we will find support because we saw it here. And the last time we hit the bottom of this pattern was over here at $3.57. Okay, we've got the 50-day moving average over here sitting at $3.76, which is near that $3.80. So I think if we were to fall, if you want to try and set some sort of alert to try and scoop this up cheap, I think it would be possible sometime within the next 7 to 14 days to see $3.80. But this is all contingent on what this does right now. It's all contingent on what the market does right now. Because like I said, at the time of this recording, the market just got hot. And let's just do a refresh here. And at the moment, yeah, Bitcoin is moving up. So this is bullish, guys. $10,218 right now. If Bitcoin can pass $10,340, I believe is the level I have set in my charts, then it will be breaking out to the upside and breaking some serious overhead resistance. As a matter of fact, let's just take a quick look at my Bitcoin chart just so I can show you what I'm talking about here. And yeah, we broke out of this downside resistance here really hard and fast. We got a little bit of volume coming in on it and we are actually flirting with this line at $10,340. If we can get above here, you can see we bounced down off it. If we can get above that and stay above it, then we'll be beating our highs will be breaking our previous highs set on February of 2020, and that would be really bullish. So if that, again, you know, the market tends to move together. So if Bitcoin starts to break out, some of the altcoins will most likely follow along with it. As you can see on the chart here, they are all starting to trend together. Ethereum sitting at 250. So this just got really exciting. But the other thing I want to do in this video is tell you guys a little bit about some of the hottest altcoins because I mentioned that in the introduction. So I found this on the daily hodl. And basically what this is, is it's talking about 27 altcoins in the top 50. Bitcoin has surged nearly 32% since the start of the year, up from $7,203. Despite Bitcoin's solid turn in 2020, 27 cryptocurrencies in the top 50 have outperformed the leading cryptocurrency year to date. 
year over year, so over the course of the last 365 days, Chainlink is the biggest gainer up 329%, right? Getting back to that anniversary. I don't know if those were some anniversary fireworks or what, but Chainlink has been crushing it, as we all know here. And Zilliqua, which a lot of people have mentioned in comments, and maybe I'll make a video on Zilliqua at some point. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see that. Um, but that's currently up 23%, and that tops the list for the largest increase over the past seven days and 30 days, up 42% and 190% respectively. So up 190% in the last 30 days. So this one's really hot right now. But here is the list that I was talking about in the thumbnail. You can take a look for yourself. I will scroll down slowly. The coins in green are the ones that I cover regularly on this channel. Got my engine project review video. Check that out if you haven't. Chainlink, we talk about weekly. Cardano, I just made a video about that. Got the Shelly incentivized test net happening in the main net schedule, which has been released. All right. Ethereum, of course. But there's Zilliqua. Hedera Hashcraft is also up really big this year. Theta Network's doing some big things and I'm not going to read every single one. I'll just scroll down for you, but just take a look. Pause the video if you'd like. And there's a lot of uh, really exciting things happening in the crypto space right now. And I just love when I make these videos and the market moves um, so quickly. And uh, it's wild to see that happen. But do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you found value in the content. Um, also, let me know in the comments section which of these top 27 altcoins in the list here do you think is going to continue to have a huge year? Do you think it'll be Zilliqua, Hedera Hashgraph, Engine Coin? You think we'll see continued upside there? Of course, Chainlink, Cardano. What do you guys think is going to be hot over the next coming months? Because we've only really seen almost the first half. We're still in the middle of quarter two, 2020, but what are we going to see? as time passes here. All right, aside from that, I wanna remind you, of, of course, like I do at the end of every video, to never invest more than you can afford to lose in speculative investments like cryptocurrency and to enjoy the ride. All right, thanks everybody.